So as always, so I'm going, I, or it's like, so I'm going to now disappear, or I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Fellow Drops Brew Guides. Today, we have a really interesting coffee from JBC. Scored at 94 points, too. Yeah. Scored at 94 points. 94. Really, really wild coffee. It's a double anaerobic. We really wanted to just, like, drop one for you this week, for sure. Um, it's so interesting because Brian and I seriously racked our brains for, like, 20 minutes when we first tried this as filter. It has like a like almost I, I said like certain types of saltwater taffy a little bit mm -hmm. to it without without like too much of the saltiness um, or like red vines yeah or like I, that kind of like mm -hmm. not sweet candy but still candy yeah but it's like a red candy uh, when I cupped this nice. I, when I cupped this I was like is it it's like a starburst but without some of like the acidity or like the ice sweetness it, yeah, like without the, that punchy it sweetness. kind of was like maybe like a cherry and strawberry starburst infused together high chew high chew high chew that's what this that's yeah what it this is. is so similar to like a high mango that's high exactly chew 100 like, yeah. mango high chew oh my god and, and I was I can't believe we didn't that was think gonna about that me. right now that was gonna bother me yeah. and I'm so glad it's not it's like when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like oh my god I remember that thing that I was trying to say like two mm -hmm. days ago yeah yep yeah but like it was just fascinating uh it, it's really like t it's really like drinking candy and, sure is yep uh and that's and not too I, funky either. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, it's a double anaerobic, but yeah. it's, it's, it's not like funky stuff, or fermenty yeah. or anything like mm -hmm. that. Just mango high chew. I'm mm -hmm. so glad that and finally. Yeah, and that's why I want to show you two really fun recipes for this. We're bringing back the Stag X Stripper to show you all pour over uh, because we think in this coffee, this is, it's like, you just want to be able to sip on this a much longer. You want to be able to keep getting that lovely, lovely high chew every single sip. Haley's going to begin pouring and showing us a recipe. If you do want to check out the recipe for this, check out our description below, but we'll, she'll walk you through it. And then I will show you a fun espresso recipe for this because in espresso, it is really, really fun and really unique. And uh, you're getting, it's like, you're getting a face full of mango. High yep. You're getting, yeah. Yep. You're just getting high cube. Like it's, it's in your mouth and it is a really awesome coffee as espresso. But let's go ahead and do our pour over. Sweet. I pre-warmed and pre-wet the filter so that I could pull out that papery taste and I could also pre-warm the Stag X dripper and my Mighty Small Glass Carafe, otherwise known as the Mighty Brewing Kit. I'm going to go ahead and pour 22 grams of this double anaerobic Columbia. Double anaerobic, it's crazy. Uh, double anaerobic Columbia. I'm using 22 grams in at a medium to medium coarse setting. So around a four on stock owed, maybe a little under four, um, around a three on owed with SSP. And again, medium to medium coarse. I'm going to brew it at our standard uh, ratio of about 16 to one. So 22 grams of coffee in, 350 out at 205 degrees. I don't think you need to bump up the dry dose of this coffee at all for that, those, that flavor to come out because it's so expressive already. Um, so we're just gonna go, we, we go in with the standard and you still get that totally round mouth feel, that mango high chew, that like super big candy energy. Let's go for it. So we're gonna tear out my scale. I flattened my bed of grounds, of course, because we don't want to pour into mountains and valleys, right? Start the timer and go ahead and give it a bloom about 44 grams, if you go a little over, that's okay. Just make sure they're all soaking evenly. Today's the day that I hit 44 exactly. Oh, don't do this to me, 43.9. Anyway, whatever, I'm just not gonna look at it. I'm gonna watch this coffee and smell. The mango hides you and there's also like a lemon lime candy to it, like almost like the lemon and lime Skittles a bit on the nose, which is just taking me directly back to uh, buying Skittles out of those little quarter machines. Anyway, so I'm gonna break bloom at around 40 to 41 seconds, giving it a little bit longer time to outgas because it is such a wild anaerobic, double anaerobic. And we're gonna pour up to 150 grams, even concentric circles in to out or out to in, as long as you are constantly moving. 
It's gonna run a little bit quickly, wow. Just give it a second smell here. Always gotta sniff the coffee. Oh yeah, definitely lemon lime Skittles for sure. For sure. Or just Skittles in general, that kind of like sharp sweetness, a little bit of that mango on the back end on the nose, but really comes out in the flavor. Such interesting aromatics. You've really outdone yourself, JBC. All right, I'm going up to 250 grams. This is my second pour of my, or sorry, this is my third pour, what am I saying, of my four pours in the four stage pour. Four pour, four, pour. not gonna go, four, four, four stage pour, <laughs> four, four pours and a couple minutes to go. I'm not Abe Lincoln. Um, yeah, super excited about this coffee. Really, really stoked to taste it again. I wonder what it would taste like iced too. I feel like if you iced the coffee, a lot more of that like mango would come out. All right, last pour, even concentric circles inside to out or out to in, as long as you're constantly moving and getting all the way out to the edges of your Stag X dripper because you don't want to let any coffee hide in those ridges like it will. All right, and now we wait. Just having a moment with this coffee. So interesting. All right, we're almost finished dripping here. And we want to, here's the true test. I can't, I can't lie about how I did if I have mountains and valleys in my dry bed of ground. So remember we want it to be even, we want it to be as flat and even as possible. And see, I have a little bit of a depression on this, in this, uh, if we're looking at it in quadrants in the upper left quadrant. So I know next time that I concentrated a little bit too much in that quadrant. Maybe I poured a little bit more aggressively there. Um, but for the most part, pretty flat and even, and that's what you want to see. And I'm going to bring Brian back in, and we are going to taste this coffee. All right, I have magically appeared. <laughs> Reappear, it's movie magic. It movie really is. Movie magic. I was having a very magic moment with this coffee, too. And don't worry, I did pre-warm the vessels as well. Oh, wow. <clears throat> you, just on that smell, it's, it just, on the sniff, Wow. Um, Skittles, right? It's, like it is, it's like Skittles and there's like a red fruit and like a, or like a red fruit mango situation going on. It is so cool. I, this is it's awesome. It's very structured aromatically as well. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. what I would say. Like it's definitely, you could like see the structure as you're sniffing it, which is, <laughs> yeah. is that weird? I don't think so because when you taste this coffee, it's, it's kind of just a really complete experience. Cheers. Is that you get that retronasal effect that occurs, that smell. And oh, just like, it's so fascinating. You get the smell, it's a structured smell of this mm -hmm. like red fruit mango high chew situation. And then, and then you taste that mm -hmm. when you sip it. You really do. It's yeah. all together. Yeah, and like I think it's really interesting that on the nose, the mango high chew situation doesn't come out super, super prominently, but then when you taste it, things like, to me, they flip. Like mm. that's the most prominent and then everything else, like all the other aromatics are like supporting characters in this whole, like, mm. in this whole situation. It's just yeah. really delicious. We think you guys are gonna love it. Yeah, and this is something you sniff, take a sip, in filter, this is just such a lovely coffee. Or in filter, this is just such a fun coffee to drink. Yes. Yep. And that's, that's like, this is one of these coffees that just the experience is awesome. You'll also get a very structured experience in this espresso that we're about to pull. And I'm gonna show you that recipe right now. All right, let's pull a shot of espresso. So 18 grams in, 54 out. We're gonna try to go for something a bit faster. Uh, and we're only going to ramp up to about six bars. So don't feel bad if your grind size is a little bit coarse or if visually your shot doesn't look so good. Because uh, with these coffees, you wanna to try to maximize, in my opinion, the interesting notes of the coffee, which in this one, it's that high chew note. It is so fun to drink. So let's go ahead and pull a shot. 
And the profile I'm using is I'm just going to target six bars and I'm going to pull relatively fast, 18 in, 54 out, 20 to 25 seconds. Here we go. So I'm pushing down, pulling fast, and it's just staying at around six bars. And all of this happens in around 20 seconds. So there's our 54 grams. There is visually still that nice layering, but obviously not, not a ton of crema because of the style of shot. However, we're maximizing the clarity in this style of shot. Magically Appeared. brought Haley back. Here we are. Ooh. So this was a really fast flowing shot. This was, and what did you do? I pulled at six bars, 18 grams in, 54 out, 20 seconds, six bars, turbo. All right, it's gonna bring out, it yeah, it's gonna bring out all that hopefully very interesting stuff in this coffee in the cup. So interesting because it aromatically is so similar to filter, which we're, does not really <laughs> happen very often as you guys know, but like it's still the aromatically, the structure is the same to me. I'm getting still that like lemon lime, that Skittles, that like edge to it, that slight mango. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. Super <laughs> Like not a round body at all. Mm -hmm. More structured in, in flavor and mouthfeel as espresso than as filter, I would say. Getting less of the mango high chew and much more of those like that skittleiness, like just eating eating a mouthful of Skittles, taste the rainbow not sponsored. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, it's it's that kind of that that's what that's what I'm getting at mm -hmm. least. And it doesn't linger as much with espresso, which is kind of funny, it tapers off quicker than it mm -hmm. did with filter to me. Yeah, well, that's because of the style of shot we pulled. And All it's right. just, this coffee is super unique. But yeah, that is JBC Coffee's Macarena Colombia. It is really fun to drink, really fun to brew with. Heck yeah. And we hope you enjoy that. If you have any questions regarding brewing, fellow drops, or anything, let us know in the comments below. We'll get back to you. But thanks so much for spending the time to watch the video. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.